Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to make some aquaponic grow towers using 3 inch PVC pipe. Uh, I, what I done was is I bought a 10 foot stick. You can cut that in half and spacing them as far apart as I did in this one you can get about 28 plants per pipe. Um, and what I did was is I put the two pipes after I cut them together I made a line down them that way I had a straight line and then I took my tape measure and I went back every eight inches and I made a dot and that was told me where to make my hole so what I used to make the initial hole was was a 7 16 paddle bit or butterfly bit whatever you prefer to call it and I drilled those holes every eight inches apart on all four sides now the next thing you'll need is a jigsaw and what you're going to do with that is you're going to make about a three quarter inch uh, cut on each side of the initial hole. Next thing you will need is you can either use half inch PVC pipe or three quarter inch PVC pipe or if you want a bigger hole you can even go with one inch. Uh, pretty much your imagination uh, for whatever you want to do. Just something round. Now what I did with these is I took and I cut them off at an angle and then I took my heat gun and I actually kind of heated them up just a little bit to where I could squeeze them into where it had a point and I'll show you why that's important later. Next thing you will need is a heat gun. Uh, just any type of heat gun will do. Nothing special. You just have to be careful not to get it too close to burn the, the PVC pipe or, or cause it to brown. So I'm going to go ahead and initially show you how to, how to do one cut. So I, and the reason, another thing too, uh, the reason I used a 7 16 bit was it was big enough that I could actually get my jigsaw blade down in. You can go with a different size bit, but just something big enough to use for your jigsaw. Now I have my hole and I have my cut on each side and next thing I'm going to do is plug in my heat gun. Now this does take a good little while to heat up so be patient. Uh, like I said in the 5 foot pipe uh, I'm able to get 28 uh, holes or 28 plants in it. If you shorten those distances in between the holes down you can actually get a, a few, fair amount more plants in there but I wanted adequate uh, space for light. Uh, for each plant to be able to get uh, its proper amount of light. So we're just going to go slowly, just keep making circles around the hole. That way it will warm the PVC pipe up and I'm able to mold it the way that I want. Now, the way to tell that your pipe is ready to mold is it will start to actually kind of glisten a little bit or kind of shine. And that tells me that it's time that I can go ahead and I can put uh, my pipe in. Now, the reason why I put uh, a little bit of an angle on there is so that I could actually get it down inside there without actually tearing or ripping the, the PVC. And what I do is I just, I just put it down in there and I leave it and then I scoot on down and I move on to my next hole. Now I have three pipes that I use and by the time I get done with my third hole and I'm actually working on the fourth one, this one will actually be ready to pull out. This one should already be cooled enough to where I can pull this one out and put it in the fourth hole. And you just keep working your way on down the line. And thank you for watching.